Four ways to build unshakable self-discipline and succeed in life. You are likely here because you have found yourself not measuring up to the things you want to achieve in life. Maybe you have had a good hard look at yourself and found yourself lacking. One area that many people struggle with is self-discipline. Welcome to Lux Diva, the place to dream, learn, and improve your life. So let's get into it. Self-discipline is essentially the expression of willpower over our basic wants. Being disciplined entails doing things exactly when they are supposed to be done. It involves honoring your promises and remaining true to yourself. It's a synonym for self-control. We're going to cover four practical rules for developing unshakable self-discipline. Things you may instantly put into practice after seeing this video. These are in simply some meaningless statements or advice that won't make a difference in your life. These are techniques to change things for the better. Why is self-discipline important? Whatever your objectives are, you will need to put in some effort to obtain them. If you lack discipline, you will likely avoid doing the work needed and instead procrastinate. If you want to be successful, you must be able to defer gratification and resist short-term temptations. There is a tremendous difference between discipline and self-discipline, and it all comes down to willpower. Why do you think working out with a personal trainer is far more successful than working out alone in terms of getting in shape? Sure, they might be able to correct some of your techniques and teach you new ones. The most crucial aspects are motivation and accountability. That's why there's a major difference between working out with a trainer and working out by yourself. Trainers tell you how to go about it, what you're doing wrong, how to do it properly, and provide encouragement. Who has more self-discipline? A person that has a personal trainer or someone that is working out by themselves? It seems obvious. Those that do everything by themselves, right? This is due to the fact that no one is telling them what to do or when to do it. They are the only ones holding themselves accountable. Whereas the other one has a trainer who is with them every step of the way. Being self-disciplined entails showing up, doing the work, and doing it as you plan. It also includes establishing good habits. You may have noticed that you aren't very self-disciplined. Fortunately for you, self-discipline is a skill that you can learn and master, even if you have to start from the bottom. We'll show you how to be more disciplined so you can achieve your dreams faster and enjoy a better life. Let's start with the 2190 principle, which can aid in the implementation of all of these rules. According to this principle, it takes around 21 days to create a habit, 66 days to solidify a habit, and 90 days to build a lifestyle. Things that change your routine and enrich your life are the habits we wish to cultivate. You might wish to take a cold shower every morning, run 10 kilometers, or meditate every day. Now that you understand how long it usually takes to change your life, Let's move on to the four rules for developing self-discipline. Number one, don't wait for the perfect moment. Be truthful here. Have you ever put off work because you didn't want to do it? We've all done it. Here's a little secret. You will rarely ever feel like it. Even if you do, you'll probably start working and then stop after 10 minutes because you're no longer in the right mood. Our minds aren't designed to be productive. They were designed for instant gratification, not the other way around. As a result, you should not wait for the ideal time to start things. You should do them right away. The three-second rule is a concept that can assist you. It's fairly straightforward. Count to three if you are not doing what you were supposed to do, and then do it. Don't even consider it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Do you have to get up and prepare your presentation? One, two, three, and you're doing it. Do you have to mow the lawn? 
One, two, three, and you're out there doing it. It's important not to think too much about it. Don't count slowly. Simply count and then start right away. Number two, remove distractions and temptations. Eliminate anything that is preventing you from accomplishing your goals. Our brains are designed to avoid any type of struggle, discomfort, or effort. So, given the choice between working and watching TikTok, we prefer TikTok because it is easier and provides immediate gratification. When you don't have anything else to do but work, work becomes a lot easier. You could erase TikTok from your phone or if you are tempted to watch Netflix movies, cancel your membership. Are these drastic measures? Yes. Procrastination can also be made inconvenient. If you work from home and are only 5 feet from your couch, it's easy to become distracted. Take a little break and then spend the rest of the day eating fatty snacks and watching pointless television. If you work from the local library, however, you will find it much more difficult to procrastinate because you will be in a quiet environment with little to no distractions. Taking a break is both inconvenient and not much fun. Number 3. Set Realistic Yet Achievable Goals Setting goals is another skill that will help you complete tasks more quickly. When making goals, you must be realistically ambitious. When goals are distinct and sufficiently ambitious, they are most likely to boost task performance. So, even if you don't attain them, you'll always be more productive than if you hadn't set goals in the first place. A good goal is one that is both attainable and not too small. Otherwise, you'll feel like you're squandering your abilities. It should also have a deadline attached to it. A good deadline will aid your efficiency and effectiveness, particularly if you hold yourself accountable. Our friend once made an iPhone app. She spent a long time on this, being both the programmer and the graphic designer. After a few weeks, she realized she was getting nowhere. She challenged herself. She told her admirers that the app would be ready in a few weeks. To achieve this goal would require a lot of effort fast. A few weeks later, she finished and published the app on time. When you're held accountable, you're more likely to complete tasks. Rule number 4. Build a routine. Change won't happen overnight. Start small. Wake up at the same time every day and have a plan for the day. Immediately make your bed. This is a nice minor accomplishment to get things moving. Morning bed making is proven to boost motivation and productivity. Start by finding places to change your routine. You can list everyday activities as positive, neutral, or bad. Positive activities include sending crucial emails, researching, working, exercising, etc. Bad activities pull you away from your goals, like spending time with negative people, staying up late partying, and so on. Neutral activities are time wasters that don't directly hinder your goals, like watching TV or sitting in traffic. After making your list, you can adjust your routine. Remove all negative and neutral activities. Look at ways to turn negative and neutral behaviors into good ones. For example, instead of grumbling in traffic, listen to an audiobook. Are you learning anything in this video? Are you ready to make a difference in your life by practicing self-discipline? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. You've made it this far, so it's time for a bonus rule. Number 5. Think in the long term. Creating the future is the best way to predict it. Successful people are different from unsuccessful people in that they take action. They don't just complain if they don't like something. They work to change it. Remember that whatever you do now will have a significant impact on who you will become tomorrow. Completing tasks is the most effective way to keep yourself motivated. 
and create the future you want. Remember to exercise self-discipline every day by doing things you don't want to do. Success is not a place you suddenly arrive at. It is achieved daily through self-discipline and hard work. If you found something useful in this video, please like it and share it with someone who could benefit from it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in a future video.